All right, the bugs seem bad this year, don't they? Is it our imagination? And what can we do to keep the pests away? Well, Dr. Kevin Deekhouse is the Chief of Infectious Diseases at uh, UConn Health. Good morning to you. Thank you for coming in. Good morning. Thanks to be here. So, uh, you know, we were just chatting about this because I was hopeful the answer would be yes. <laughs> Did the cold winter help? I think a lot of people hoped that it would kill off the bugs. Well, after a winter like ours, we certainly hope so, but unfortunately the bugs are back. They're back with a vengeance, yeah. So we have to figure out how to protect ourselves. The greatest offenders that we have to worry about here in New England, um, you know, I guess would be the ticks mm. and the and the mosquitoes. Let's right. start with ticks. Sure. So uh, actually, uh, Connecticut's a little hotbed of tick-borne activity. So the mm. biggest, obviously, is Lyme disease. That's been yeah. around for a while, still is. Uh, the newest on the scene is Powassan virus, uh, which has not been really seen in humans yet, but it's been isolated in ticks in southern Connecticut. So it's real important that when you're out that you uh, really avoid ticks, and that means wearing an insect repellent, tucking your uh, pants into your sh into your socks and doing a tick check when you when you get back. Uh, obviously if you see any ticks on your body there's a particular way that you want to remove them. Just take a forceps and just pull them straight out. A lot um, of people have those homegrown theories oh yeah. like oh burn it with a match or whatever. Yeah, you don't You're saying get right in there and pull. Exactly. You don't do okay. all the stuff that your mother told you. <laughs> exactly. Um, and there's good reason for that, right? You don't want to leave part of it in there. You exactly. don't want to have infection later. Talk again just quickly about the difference. But is it poesin? Is that what you said? Right. I've heard a bit of that uh, buzz about that. What, what's the difference between that and Lyme? Well, certainly Lyme is much more prevalent. Yeah. Um, uh, poesin virus has been newly, uh, newly identified in the state. Um, and the big issue is that uh, it can be transmitted actually just after a short, uh, a short bit of the tick having bitten. So just within a few hours, it may be transmitted. Oh, which is worse, of course, because with uh, Lyme, it has to be, what is it, 36, 24 to 36? Usually, right, it's usually a couple days before it before it transmits. Okay, so we passed on the tips on how to prevent from that one, but what about when it comes to mosquitoes? Well, mosquitoes certainly can transmit illness here too. Um, the uh, uh, biggest, of course, is West Nile virus, which right. was a big deal a few years ago. It's still around. Uh, in the late summer season, we start seeing eastern equine encephalitis and western equine encephalitis, particularly around the swamps in southwestern Connecticut. Uh, not too many human cases, fortunately, Good. Uh, but uh, always something to be careful about. So if you are getting symptoms for something that you're thinking this feels more than like just a flu or a cold or this I just don't quite feel myself you really need to follow up we're in like you said a hotbed for these different things to potentially affect us you've got to get it looked at right that's right a lot of these cause a summertime illness with the Lyme disease of course so you want to look out for the skin rash which is mm -hmm. a circular type of rash but don't feel too confident if you don't get it exactly right, right. there's a, a certain percentage actually don't develop the rash basically if you're having continued fever uh, or certainly changes in how you're able to think or meningitis, stiff neck, that sort of thing, you want to get an evaluation by a physician. Just doesn't hurt to have that conversation. Absolutely. Okay, and check out the beautiful new facility at UConn uh, for infectious diseases. You were saying it's better to uh, go there before your trip than have to be treated there after. Right, we see people <laughs> traveling internationally. It's better. We, we're happy to see you before you go, and yeah. we prefer not to see you when you come back sick. I, I went <laughs> before healthy. I went on vacation. They were so helpful. I do encourage you to go if you're uh, you know, going somewhere where you might have to have that conversation about what bugs you might encounter there. Right. All right, thank you so much for coming and really appreciate Great. it. Thank you very All much. Right.